snoozed, snoozed, snoozed my alarm. But I'll get up now. <laughs> I drink lemon water in the morning. I feel like I just simply don't like water and I like the way lemon water tastes. Like putting lemon in your water really doesn't make it any better for you. I feel, I don't know. Won't drink my water otherwise. For my probiotics, I take seed here. Uh, it's pretty popular online. And I don't know if it, like people take a probiotic or know what it is. I've been taking this for over a month now and I don't really feel any different. I don't feel like, I didn't get nauseous. Some people were saying when they first took it, they were nauseous. This is my second batch, you subscribe to it. I don't dislike it, but like I don't feel any different. But for those of you who do not know what a probiotic is, I'm gonna super, super simplify it, but essentially in your gut, your GI system, you have bacteria and there's good bacteria and then there's bad bacteria, but the good bacteria is supposed to um, help with your immune system, your digestive system, all of your organs, skin, this, that, and the other thing, because the gut is the center of your body. So taking a probiotic is supposed to increase um, the good bacteria in your gut. At first it was like the holy grail of like all things nutritional science. I think like the studies were showing like it helps like in the it helps when you're taking them, but as soon as you talk, eh. as soon as you stop, there's no like lasting effects from it. They're still studying it, so I like it. It's fine. And the other thing I've been taking, thanks to my friend Mariah, is organic Olivia's liver juice. It's not liver juice. Just before before you guys get your uh, before you get your panties in a bunch, <laughs> it is meant to assist with your hormones. A blend of medicinal herbs designed to support detoxification and healthy hormones. So it is a supplement. The reason that I am taking this, I know that my acne is related to my hormones. I basically heat up some water and I usually just do two, two little half tubes. It tastes like cinnamon kind of. So today I slept in so much, I did not want to get up. And I went to bed at like 10 o'clock too, which is pretty early for me, which I would have never thought in a million years I would call early for me. So what I'm gonna do today is I am gonna go work out and I'm gonna go work out outside. Last night, my body was craving carbs, bread and pasta, which is really, usually I crave like sweets, but ever since I've been gluten-free, I feel like I haven't been like, wow, I really just want bread right now. Like, I don't know. So yesterday I wanted, wanted carbs. I ended up like cooking a box of chickpea pasta at like eight o'clock at night cause I got ice cream at like five o'clock. So I don't know, I was not feeling right. But since my body was like, I literally want pa plain pasta. Like I just want carbs and I'm like, all right, I'll give it to you. I'll give you what you're asking for. So now I'm like, all right, I feel like I can get a wicked good workout in today. Not because I ate the pasta. I'm like, oh, I need to work out. I'm like, I feel like I have a lot of fuel and I have been getting a lot of good workouts in. And I've been doing a lot of more like Pilates. I feel like today I can get in a good like hit workout. So that's my plan. And then I'm gonna come back, shower, do my whole self care, probably record another video. I recorded a vlog and I recorded a Q&A and I don't like both the videos. I could just post them anyways, but I just wanna post like some solid content. So I'm not gonna post them, <laughs> but I edited them and everything. So, you know, it happens. All right, I'm going to finish these off and I'm gonna ice roll my face. So uh, this I just got all the rage on Instagram, I feel. Basically you keep this green part in the freezer and you roll your face. I'm going to like a jade roller, but you keep it in the freezer. There's two reasons why I use it. So one, obviously puffiness in the morning. It's so nice because it's nice and cold. But also I used to, from my esthetician, I got recommended to use ice cubes on my face every night to help with inflammation. So this also helps my skin with that as well. I'll link. I'm moving in absolutely slow motion today. It's 10 o'clock and I'm about to go do my workout.
forgot to record at the beginning of my workout. So this is what we end with. But I've been here for about an hour. All right, on my way home. This is my favorite coffee shop. They have the cinnamon sticky flavor, cinnamon sticky buns. So I get it with oat milk and stevia. Now I'm going to shower. I'm gonna wash my hair because it's really gross and I haven't washed it in a while. Um, I'm at 7,000 steps for the day. I am gonna to try to get to 10,000. Shower time. Once or twice a week, this is what I use. So, so I use Olaplex number three hair perfector. So what I do is I put it in my hair while it's wet in the shower and I let it sit in there for about 10 minutes. And then I shampoo it out with the shampoo. I'm running out of the hair perfector. And then I use the conditioner. And then once my hair dries a little bit, I use this bonding oil as well. So those are the, the four things that I have from them that I use and my hair feels amazing after I use it. On the days I don't use Olaplex, I use these under the canopy products. So shampoo and conditioner, they smell amazing. It's white citrus lime or um, a body wash. I use their body wash as well. So again, citrus, white citrus lime, so good. They actually sent these to me, but I definitely will rebuy them. Under the canopy is where I bought my cotton towels from. So I have organic 100% um, cotton towels, these blue ones, and they sent me um, this robe as well, which I love. So I have been using Curology stuff at night, which has been nice. I like it at night for like an overnight thing. But during the day, I really like light, moisturizing, glowy products. So what I've been doing is using a lot of Coco Kind product. They have this cute little superfood starter kit. Like it was like $12. I ended up buying the raspberry toner. I'm really liking the chia oil, but I do have their vitamin C which I love, 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 love. It smells so good and it feels so good on my skin. I am gonna use the toner, the raspberry one right now, even though I usually use the rose water, I feel like in the morning, but. So I let that dry and settle in. And then I am gonna go in with these two. Out of this little packet, I'm gonna use the Chia oil, which is probably really, really one of their most popular items. I'm gonna go in with the vitamin C. So you really only need like So I do use the vitamin C in the morning because I use the niacinamide at night. If you use them together, supposedly it counteracts their benefits. Let it dry. Guys, my, quar <laughs> my quarantine brows are so bad. Literally, so I normally, this part here, I usually don't have anything. All of these hairs, it usually is just like this. And I fill it in. So all of this growth is like really, really good, but I look like, what's going on here? Not super cute, but the final product will be worth it. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully once I can get my brows done. All right, so I've been using the caffeine solution from The Ordinary, which I love. I um, put it at the end of my Ordinary video, which I will link there or something. And I got this at the end because it was like only like $5. And I've been loving it. I'll link it in the description below. And then I'm going to go in with the Chia oil. Chia face oil. I'm really liking it, but literally with me, the oils, it's like, a hit or miss, so let's we'll see. I'm putting my rings back on. All right, it's just in this little tube though from the thing. <laughs> Come on, buddy. <laughs> Yo, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh, I'm so crazy. And I go in. I don't know, maybe people know better, but I just usually press in my products like so in this kind of upward pattern but I try not to pull on my skin too much. I don't know. Somebody can tell me. I forgot to show this this morning um, when I left, but this is the cutest thing I just bought on Amazon. So literally charges your AirPods and your Apple Watch. 
at the same time. So I'm obsessed with it. I'll link everything I bought, but you still use the cords on it, which is fine. And I bought like one of these flat, you can't even see it, like a flat. So it would fit like this with my desk, but I love it. It's perfect. So what I'm doing here is trying to make whatever is going on here work a little bit. It's pretty hard and I'm not really that good at makeup. Like this one's just so bad. Uh, I go like down here. Like FedEx for me? They just look terrible. I just can't with it. But I've been so good about growing them. I've even been putting castor oil on them and I could do a whole YouTube video about the story of my eyebrows. A whole entire, I might literally make a YouTube video, the story of my brows, because that would be one, hilarious, and there's probably nothing that's more more authentic than that. Um, if anyone who knows me, it's just been, it's just been a freaking road with my eyebrows. I'm gonna put some pictures here for you. <laughs> I'm like Middle Eastern, I should have nice brows. All right, so I gave up on the brows, whatever. Next, I'm going with this Becca under eye thing. It's freaking great. Ready? Watch this. Look at that. How glowy. I like it. I'm on my ground. I'm on my floor right now. I one time saw a meme and it was like, the only thing you should be scared of is like a girl who does her makeup on the ground. And it really hit me like a brick in the worst way. I don't feel like putting on a lot of makeup today. So I have like this red, I don't recommend this. Just look away. It's like a BB cream that's like goes on green and it's supposed to help with redness. It just like doesn't really, I don't know, you can see it. I just don't like the way it feels on my face. It feels super minerally on my face, so. <laughs> Anyone who likes makeup is watching this and is like, what are you doing? I don't like it. I used to love, I used to love makeup. I used to love, love, love it. And now I'm just like, mm, please don't make me do this. And then the next thing I use is this Visible Lift Luminous Serum Tint, which I honestly love. And then I mix it with this Amazon Clay Tinted BB Cream, which is the best thing ever. Tinted moisturizer but I just mix it under my hand. This tinted moisturizer is 25 SPF, so that's why I like it. All right, next I use my Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow. I love this because it has powder and it has cream and I just go I'll Laura Mercier blush. I freaking love blush. I go on the balls of my cheeks like this. And then I bring it up. But I love like the balls of my cheeks. And then I bring it across. Again, I don't know what I'm doing. I just like the way this looks for me. I ordered a Glossier um, cream blush. It cut me off. So I'm excited about that. I just curled my lashes. And I used the OG Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced. I'm adding a little bit of glow here, 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 and here. Okay, now we're done. So besides my br besides my brows that I just can't seem to figure out. And again, I, I mean, you just saw, but I didn't use any concealer. So you can obviously see my acne, scars, and spots. In quarantine, I just don't really care. It just doesn't really matter to me enough, and I don't really like putting concealer on them. So it is 12.49 and I'm not feeling hungry like at all, even though I worked out and had a pretty vigorous workout. But like I said, I ate a pretty big dinner and I ate it really late, which is abnormal for me. So I'm still just feeling full from that. But one thing I do wanna say, like since I'm not eating right now, I just focus on listening to my body. So when the time comes that I will eat, I probably will eat a larger serving just to ensure that I'm still getting enough calories and I'm feeling satisfied. But just because I'm not eating till a certain time doesn't mean I'm like not gonna eat enough for the day. Speaking of cream blush, they sure do uh, market very well for what it's worth. Oh, cute. Cloud paint in a beam. 
which I'm just gonna put on because why not? All right, I might have too much. <laughs> I might have way too much blush on right now, but give you a cute little sticker. I don't know if the camera is picking up like how much blush I have on my face right now, but it's a lot. I just recorded my Q and A video. <laughs> Look at my hair; it gets so puffy. This is ridiculous. What the heck? All right, I'm think I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna eat. Before I eat, I just have this spiritual gangster crop top on. So I used to think that spiritual gangster was the stupidest name of a company, but then I just, I don't know. I just like it a lot, honestly. And this crop top, I love the length here. Um, also, I don't know if anyone noticed, but I have a trash barrel hanging up here because like, I guess my boyfriend likes basketball or something. For my smoothie, I'm going to do one whole banana, two scoops of So Clean and Lean protein. Um, so that's gonna be like all the protein there. Um, maca powder, cacao nibs, flaxseed, and I'm gonna chop some coconut in there. All right, this is just a really big, <laughs> a really big mason jar. There's just like more smoothie in there. Um, I was feeling hungry, but not that hungry. Nothing was sounding good to me. I just wanted to have a smoothie. So I put the protein in there to help slow kind of the digestion and keep me full. But I did work out earlier, so I just wanted to make sure I get enough protein in today. I love bananas. Flaxseed is a good source of fiber. It has good vitamins and nutrients for my skin, as well as good healthy fats. What else did I put in there? Cacao is just good. Maca powder is good for hormone balance, which I've always loved maca. That's why it's good like on a day like today where it's 2 o'clock and I'm eating my first meal. It's good to have like a full balanced first meal of the day, I think. That's my coffee from 9 a.m. I ordered from Victoria's Secret. I know, just bear with me for a second. Throw back to high school. I'm super excited. So I will show you everything right now. All right, I got this tank. I did get a, I got an extra small cause I was hoping it would like be a little bit tighter, but detailing on it. Embarrassingly, oh, thank God. I was nervous it was gonna say the word pink on it somewhere, but it doesn't, so I'm safe. All right, next. I love so happy so I got a small so it is a little bit tight but I wanted it to be supportive but it's a sports bra that could be a crop top so I love it I got one in black too so I'll show you that real quick I love them they're so nice and like I get I got a small the last thing I bought is screams Victoria's Secret but I saw it and I was like, oh my God, I want to live in it. I'll show you in the video, in the, the mirror. I need this like. Tell me this doesn't scream Victoria's Secret. What is this, silk? I'll be honest, I thought this was gonna be a little bit longer than it is. So I don't know if I'm loving it. Well, I guess if I don't put unzippered, it's so cute. With like a little tank top. Come on, it's cute. It's cute. It's growing up like even in the hood. There's silk. I'm bringing it back. Victoria's Secret. It's on my watch. Someone's gotta drop tips on how I can do my hair. Because I don't know. It's a wash in my life. Alright. <laughs> I'm really dehydrated. So I'm gonna drink all of these. Coconut water. This water. And then a green juice. For the green juice from Pressed Juicery, cucumber, celery, spinach, lemon, ginger, and cayenne. I'm drinking this more so for my hydration because I'm thirsty as hell. So I'm just gonna down all of these and I'm going to edit my QA video. Snacky. So I have a smoked salmon with pepper on it and then Mary Seed crackers for a snack. So good source of protein from the salmon, healthy fats, um, nuts and seeds so filled with um, vitamins and minerals. 
So just a good, nice snack. most appetizing but cucumber tomato red cabbage um chickpeas with tahini lemon maple syrup and salt and pepper not gonna lie those chickpeas not feeling good in my stomach but i kind of knew that was gonna happen i can't have a lot of chickpeas they upset my stomach even if i like peel off the skins of them which i do i like peel off like the little shells of them which is like really tedious and annoying my stomach's like cramping and like bloating We'll have some tea in a little bit. The sun is shining, shining. Creepy. All right, back to work. All right, I finally finished the video, um, my Q&A video. So I'm gonna try to post this one before I post my Q&A one. I'll be posting that one in a few days, but it's eight o'clock now. Um, I'm probably gonna make some tea right now, but since my stomach's still bothering me from my chickpeas, I'm going to get all of these videos up on iMovie, and then I'm probably gonna watch an episode of Desperate Housewives and call it a night. So that was a really good day for me in quarantine, I think. It was kind of like a perfect day. Got some work done, got a workout in, went outside, and um eat some yummy food drink some drinks thanks for tuning in if you like this video please make sure you subscribe um toss it a like feel free to message me if you have any questions about what you saw in the video i'm going to be linking everything in the description that you did see in the video and follow me on instagram if you haven't already at layla jane sod i think that is it uh so stay tuned for my q a video that i will be posting soon all right i will see you then